friends. Welcome to Whatever Wednesdays. Thank you to our subscriber who recommended that we do some of my fun facts that I love sharing and telling. So since it's Furry Friends Week, we're gonna run through some animal facts going A to Z. Maybe we should give our friend Hannah a call so then we can run through some of the facts with her too. Hey, Hannah. Hey, Hannah. How's it going? Very good, how are you? Good. Um, we got a suggestion from one of our viewers at home um, who remembered that I really like animal facts and that I love facts and telling kids at Emily's house facts. Um, so I was just wondering if you like facts too. I love animal facts and I always love to overhear what you're saying. <laughs> Would you be able to help us out with doing rapid fire A to Z animal facts? Would love to. Awesome. Okay, cool. Is it okay if I start? Go for it. Okay. A, did you know that anteaters don't have teeth? Ooh. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> B, beavers are great neighbors. They invite other animals to use their huts for shelter. Cool. Mm -hmm. C, did you know that cows have best friends? I love that. They're like CFFs, <laughs> cow friends forever. <laughs> D, dolphins have names for each other. So dolphins will use a unique whistle call to call each other and then they'll respond when they hear their own whistle name. Cool. Mm -hmm. Um, did you know that elephants, for E, have emotions like people? So they can feel joy and grief and anger? Ooh, cool. Uh, F, flamingos, they eat upside down. What? Always? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, cool. Um, G, for goats, did you know that goats have accents depending on where they are and their surroundings just like people that's so cool yeah nice well for h did you know that hedgehogs are called hedgehogs for a reason so the hedge part of their name comes from where they build their nests like hedges bushes and shrubs and then the hog part comes from the small snorting and grunting sounds they make which is similar to a warthog or a pig and before they were called hedgehogs, they were called urchins, which is where sea urchins get their name from. Cool. Yeah. Because they're both spiky. That's right. Sonic the urchin. <laughs> uh, I is for iguanas. And did you know that iguanas are super agile and fast on land where they live, but they can also swim and hold their breath for 30 minutes? Whoa. Yeah. That's cool. Well, speaking of water, so J, jellyfish, who live in the water, they mm -hmm. have no brain, heart, bones, or eyes. They do have a mouth, though, uh, that's located in the center of its body. So that's where it eats, discards waste, and squirts jet out to propel it forward. Cool. Mm -hmm. um, K for koalas. Um, koala's fingerprints are so close to humans' fingerprints that sometimes at crime scenes, koala's fingerprints are mistaken um, and taken instead of human fingerprints. No way! Yeah. That's cool. Do you think I of koalas? how many koalas there are, though, at crime scenes. <laughs> that too. Also, do you think a koala can unlock an iPhone then? We should try it. Yeah. Okay, done. For L, llama's cousins, uh, llama's cousin is a camel. And so they also spit like camels, but mostly just when they're frustrated and at each other. Oh, so okay. Not us. So mm -hmm. we can, we're okay. We're okay. Okay. Did you know for M, for monkeys, uh, monkeys use their tail like it's another hand? So they can use it to help them swing from tree to tree and for balance too. Oh, cool. 
Did you know for N, narwhals, their spiral horn um, is actually a front tooth that's seriously overgrown. Yeah. Scientists think that it may be used as a sensory organ, so it helps them locate food and pick up on changes to their environment. Cool. Well, for O, this is one of my favorite animal facts. Did you know that otters hold hands when they sleep so that they keep close to one another and don't drift away? Oh, I love that. Uh, for P, we have pandas, which I'm wearing my panda shirt. Nice panda shirt. Thank you. I'm wearing a panda shirt. Nice panda shirt. Panda connection. <laughs> well, pandas don't have a particular sleep spot. So like humans, we sleep in beds, but pandas can just fall asleep wherever they are. Super cool fact. Um, for Q, did you know that quails can lay up to 20 eggs at one time? Oh. Yeah, which would be a seriously large grassy nest to fit all of those. For sure. Well, for R, did you know that rabbits can't sweat? They release heat through their ears. Huh. Mm -hmm. Did you know that squirrels, for S, are responsible for uh, for planting more than a thousand trees every year because they just bury their acorns and then forget where they've put them. <laughs> so their forgetfulness has helped the earth. They're very <laughs> sustainable. Yes. Yeah. For T, did you know that not only tigers' furs are striped, but so is their skin? Huh. Mm -hmm. For you, did you know that unicorns get their name from the Latin word one horn? Okay. So they're a legendary animal. They're super strong and most of the time they're white and they're very difficult to catch. Um, and unicorns have appeared in art from like ancient Mesopotamia and were even written about in ancient Greece more than 2,000 years ago as well. Wow, yeah. that's a long time. Super long. Yeah. Well, for V, we have venomous snakes. Mm. So the black mamba snakes are the fastest snake in the world, almost 20 kilometers an hour. Whoa. Watch out. So uh, fast. For W, did you know that wombat's poop is cube-shaped? Oh, wow. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> For X, X-ray tetras get their names from their scales that are primarily translucent with a hint of gold. Hmm. Also, their babies are called fries. Oh! <laughs> Little fries. <laughs> For why, I couldn't think of an animal to tell a fact about. So is it okay if I do a joke? Sure. Okay. What animals talk the most? I don't know what. A yak. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'm like laughing. That. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, last but not least, mm. for Z or Z, every zebra's stripes are unique to each one. Oh. It's believed that the zebras are striped to confuse predators. Cool. Yeah. Thanks for all your help with all of that, Hannah. My goodness, this was so much fun. Thank you, too. I learned so much today. Me, too. Cool. Well, have a good rest of your day, Hannah. Thank you. You, too, Hannah. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching and thank you to Hannah for helping us with all of those animal facts too. I learned so much today and I hope you did too. Check out tomorrow's video as we go over making some special dog treats for our furry friends week and tasty Thursdays. See you then.